Hi, my beautiful people. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load or import shapefile using PostJS as a PostgreSQL extension. So I have my PostgreSQL database with trial as my database. So I'll make sure that first I open the PostJS bundler, which is an extension. You can install it using Stack Builder. So I have it already. So now when you open a dialog box, you have three I mean options. So there's a PostJS connection. This is where you connect. And there is here where you can import export because I'm showing how to import our because it on import, but you can always go to export and import. Then here you have options import about and cancel. So for my case, about this is why the PostGIS shape file manager is 3.41. You can always look at the credits. Then for options, this is where you, you, you define the DFB character encoding. So I'll just search load into geometry column. Okay. Then now because I'm showing how to import, the first procedure is to connect your database trial so I'll, for my case i know the username this is the username and the password i know it here the local 5432 this is the port in the database it is called trial this one here so by pressing ok that means my connection is succeeded thereafter i need to add a file so by clicking add file i know where my that particular shape file i'm adding so I know where it is, the distance, I know where it is. Okay. I know where it is. Then for instance, rows, this one here. So by selecting, that means these are the schema, the schema is in public, and the table is condition paper and geometry column geometry. Then just the guy. So by saying Import that means my file will be imported because my database has nothing now. So by pressing import, it says the shape file import completed. That means when I just minimize here, I expand my database, look at my schema, public as I showed earlier in tables. Here, condition paved. That means you can always view. You see the columns here. What are the columns? That means when I when I try to open it or rows, this is what I get. So I have imported shape file using PostgreSQL already by using PostGIS. So that's it. So you can have, these are the columns, then cross-check everything here. See, that's it. Okay. You can have a look just like that. So this is the way of importing shell file using PostGIS using PostgreSQL. Thank you a lot.